What's up guys, welcome to your 18th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about PHP and forms. Now this is one of the most important parts of PHP and it's a backbone for a lot of applications. So if you watch any tutorial this is going to be one of the main ones that you want to do. Now there are two types of different ways PHP can use to get information from your forms. One of the ways is called get and the other is called post. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the post. So to do this we're just going to have to first make a simple website because of course if we want to output our forms on the screen then we're going to need the simple HTML code. So let's go ahead and create our body. We don't really need a header right now. And just a simple basic website. Now inside the body, the first the first thing we want to create is a form. Now the first value we're going to give it is the action value. Now what this does is it tells the website alright whatever we type into the action value is a script that we want to test and our script is going to be in testerpage.php as you can see we are already got a tester page PHP but we didn't write anything in it yet we're just telling PHP alright when it comes time to submit the form we want you to run the script on tester page and if you don't put anything in here, then it will look for the script on the same page. But for now, we want to do it on tester page. And the next is the method we want to use. And remember when I told you about get and post? Right now, we want to say, all right, we want to use the method post. And I'll uh, tell you about get later, but that's not important for now. And uh, I like just to uh, end my form right now. Actually, I forgot to end my. Haven't typed HTML in a while, but let's just end my form right now, so we won't have to worry about it later. So now we have a form saying, "All right, whatever we type in here, we want you to type in tester page, and we want to use the method post, which is the only one we're learning right now." now we gotta give this some kind of input so let's first of all make an area where we can write our name and if you're not familiar with XHTML then pay attention to do this you write the word input and what this does is give it one of those blank empty text boxes well actually to do that you type type text this means a blank empty box that you can type stuff in. There's also check boxes, buttons, drop down list, but text means blank empty box as you'll see later. Next we want to give this a name and what the name is is the variable name that we're going to be testing later. So to make this simple I'm just going to name mine name. So right now we have a form with an empty text box in it that we're going to be able just uh, submit stuff in. So let me go ahead and uh, just show you guys what this is going to look like. Oh, that must be because I filled it in earlier. But what this does is a name, which is right here, and our input, which is this, just to let you guys know. Next, once we submit all our information right here we don't have any way of submitting it so what we're going to need to do is add a submit button and to do that it's simple enough just type in input type equals submit and this will give you a submit button for your form right there now once you see once you type in a name and submit it nothing happens why? Because on our tester page, we just have a blank page that doesn't give any actions or directions or anything. So just to recap right here, here's what we did. We made a form 
in our in a website and we said all right whenever we submit it go to tester page and perform the task we tell you to as you see tester page has no task yet so that's why it's blank right here we're gonna use the variables post and we gave you one variable so far so whenever we submit this it's gonna make a variable called name and it's going to go to tester page and that's what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial just didn't want to make this one too long so thank you for watching and if you want to find out how to use our tester page then you better watch my next tutorial thanks